So today we are going to talk about JBPM. This tutorial will be providing you with the basic and advanced concepts of JBPM. This has been designed specifically for beginners and professionals alike. Java Business Process Management or JBPM is a very agile and flexible business management system suite. It allows you to execute, model, or even monitor any business process throughout its respective life cycles. It is an open source, lightweight suite written in Java. The above process functions in the following order Employee A self evaluates themselves and then submits the report to his or her respective project manager. Now, the project manager and the HR manager will be evaluating the employee's performance furthered by a rating based on their evaluation. The end goal will be to provide feedback to employee A. As you all can see, this flowchart is describing the business process goals which need precise execution. The order of these goals is depicted with the help of this flowchart. So, you can now ask why would you go through this complex structure to manage your business processes? The answer is simple here. The process will effectively improve the flexibility and visibility of your business logic. JBPM will help you focus on the bits that require your attention. The rest can be taken care of by the BPM. Here BPM stands for Business Process Management. To those who are not aware of BPM, it is a form of structure in business management which is used to model, analyze, improve, measure, optimize and automate business processes. BPM also focuses on corporate performance improvement by effective business management processes. I know you will now be concerned about its relation between developers and business users. To be fair, this executable business model helps bridging the gap between them since they use domain-specific concepts which the business users can comprehend. To summarize once again, JBPM is an extensive, lightweight workflow engine written in Java, which allows you to execute complex business processes with its latest BPMN2 program. They can run embedded in any application or in any Java environment. Now, I would like you all to see some of the features JBPM has. Some of its core features are as follows. Human Task Service JBPM utilizes pluggable human task service which is based on Web Services Human Task or WS Human Task specifications. This includes tasks that require human interaction and they also define the data structure which stores information about these human tasks, Eclipse-based and web-based. JBPM functions on Eclipse and web-based editors that provide drag and drop support during simulation operations and graphical creation of the business processes. Rule Engine This provides a declarative language that helps in evaluating the information available. Supports Java Persistence and Transaction. It also supports Persistence and Transaction, which are based on JPA and JTA, respectively. In case you are wondering what these are, JPA is used as a standard for any Java object relational mapping, which specifies a set of annotations with an interface. JTA, on the other hand, is a transaction API which handles the transaction behavior across multiple databases. UI Tools UI tools in JBPM can be used in the design phase itself. Lightweight 
as we have already mentioned before, JBPM is fully open source, written in Java language and is lightweight, supports BPMN2. It focuses on BPMN2, which stands for Business Process Model and Notification, which is a process definition language. This is a global standard for process modeling and has been widely used for having the core components of a business IT alignment. Let's see what we have next. The core engines. They aren't the only thing at work here. There are tools that offer support to these business processes throughout their life cycles. Let me point them out for you. Users can perform their respective tasks included in the pluggable human task service base on the WS Human Task. WS Human Task can be defined as an interface for task service that enables the workflow engine which can create tasks or help organizations in mapping out tasks to human and managing them. Web-based process designer feature to support graphical creation or simulation of the varied business processes. Web-based data and form modeler, which supports the creation of data processes, models, and task forms. Web-based dashboards, which are customizable and can be used for reporting. Now, let's have a look at the cumulative features within a single web-based workbench, which supports the complete life cycle of business process management. Modeling and deployment feature will help you manage your processes, data models, rules, forms, and other relevant assets. Runtime management will help you work on the tasks assigned and manage the various process instances. Reporting can keep track of the execution via the business activity monitoring function. Remote API, which processes, the engine as a service, integration of Maven, Spring, OSGI, and others. An Eclipse-based tool that supports modeling, debugging, and testing of processes. Why do we need JBPM? To begin with, BPM has been bridging the gap between developers, analysts, and end-users by providing a variety of process management features and tools. These tools and features are helping developers and business users alike. There are domain-specific nodes that can be plugged into the palette, making it more comprehensive for the business users. This diagram over here will give you an extensive overview of the various components constituting a JBPM project. Let's have a look at each of these components. Core Engine. This here is the heart of the project which allows flexible business process execution. It is a lightweight workflow engine in Java which executes the various business processes. It is purely a Java component which can be chosen to embed it as a part of your application or even deploy it as a service that also connects via the remote APIs or web-based UI. Human Task Services This is an important part of BPM. This component provides a human task life cycle, which primarily requires human interaction for business process execution. It's also an optional core service. Persistence Did you know that a runtime persistence which helps the state of all your process instance persist while logging audit information about the happenings of runtime during the same process? Well, now you do. CDI, REST, JMS. As you can see this overview image, CDI, REST, JMS is acting as a bridge which connects all these applications with a core engine through a Java API or via a set of CDI services. 
It can also connect remotely through a JMI and REST API. Process Designer Process Designer allows any business users to stimulate and design their business processes in a web-based structure. It is provided with a graphical editor which is used for editing and viewing the concerned business processes by the drag and drop feature. It also stimulates these processes. The data modeler is handy for non-technical users. It allows them to edit, create and view data models used in a specific business process. It provides tools for both the physical and logical data models without having to code explicitly. Form Modeler Form modelers will allow you to edit and generate forms that are related to your business process. This tool will help you create forms even if you're not well versed with template markup or coding skills. Rules Authoring The Rules Authoring tool helps you to specify the various kinds of business rules that need to be incorporated with your respective business processes. These are primarily guided rules, decision tables, and so on. Governor Repository Governor Repository manages and stores various kinds of assets that are used in business processes. Process Management Process management can be managed via a web-based management console. They include features like start, stop processes, an inspection of running instances, execution, management of human task lists, and generating reports. Eclipse Developer Tools This tool is an extension of the Eclipse IDE that is more targeted towards the developers, allowing you to create business processes with drag and drop, testing and debugging your processes.